Hi guys, welcome to Reading with Rakshana. Today I'm going to read the book Is It Warm Enough for Ice Cream? by Violet Peter. In fall, mist and clouds blow over the sun. Birds eat berries, mushrooms grow, leaves change color, birds fly to warmer place, fruit ripens, Squirrels hide nuts. Is it warm enough for ice cream? No, but it's windy enough to fly a kite. And watch a pinwheel spin, sail a boat, lean into the wind, catch falling leaves, and winter. The sun sets early, dripping turns into icicles, small animals find a warm place to hide, snow covers the ground, snow settles on trees, squirrels find their hidden nests, bird nests are empty, ponds freeze, deer Searching for food. Is it warm enough for ice cream? No, but it is cold enough to build a snowman and go sledding, make an igloo, drink hot chocolate, catch snowflakes. In spring, the sun rises early. Tree blossoms, the first flowers bloom. Chick hatch, crack, rainbow appears. Lambs are born, birds return and lay eggs. Rabbits play. Is it warm enough for ice cream? No, but it's rainy enough to splash in the part of... Splish, splash, splosh, splish, splash. And use an umbrella, find worm, plant seeds, make a mud pie. In summer, the sun shines, crops ripen, flower bloom, butterfly flutters by. Baby birds grow, learn to fly, the ocean warms up, bee buzzes, ladybug crawls, and march. Is it warm enough for ice cream? Yes, it is enough for ice cream. And watering flowers, eat ice pops, building sand castles. Swimming at the beach. The end. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe for more and more videos. Thank you.